The human mouth is a mysterious place for scientists. They know it's thriving with around 600 different species of bacteria, but half of these have yet to be named and described. Researchers in Britain recently discovered a new form living amongst them and eventually plan to compile a list of all the bacteria in the mouth as part of the Human Oral Microbiome Database. In fact, we're still pretty ignorant of the bacteria, both in the mouth and in the gut and the human body in general. So the first aim is to really describe what's there and then see how they interact with the human host uh, normally and how, uh, how that balance between good and ba bad bacteria works with the aim of perhaps uh, benefiting or trying to increase the numbers of good bacteria so that we can push the, the balance in the direction of health. Tooth decay and gum disease are the most common bacterial diseases affecting humans. But to understand them better, they need to know what the bacteria is and its impact on the rest of the body. Every day bacteria from the mouth get into the bloodstream and so if there's a situation where somebody either has a, a defect say on a heart valve or if they have the start of cardiovascular disease so they might have uh, fatty deposits on, on the heart then the bacteria that get into the bloodstream can colonize those fatty deposits and make the situation worse it may actually completely block the artery and, and cause a heart attack or may cause a stroke if it happened, happens in the brain. The scientists advocate fluoride toothpaste as the best defence in strengthening teeth and maintaining a healthy mouth, and also as a means of keeping the effects of bacteria in check. Toothpaste only works if you use it, and it's been shown that it's a very strong socio-economic link to oral disease. And so if some people don't brush their teeth at all or don't use toothpaste, then they're not going to uh, get, the, get the benefits of that. And so for those people, fluoride in water may be a way of getting fluoride uh, into their mouths to protect their teeth. Researchers have been cataloguing bacteria in the human mouth for the last 20 years. As their knowledge grows, so could treatments for the rest of the body.